Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about one more problem from GATE 2019 for ECE stream in signal sense systems and this is given for two marks. The problem goes like this, for a given input x of n which is given to be c1 exponential of minus j pi n by 2 plus c2 exponential of e power j exponential of j pi n by 2 if it is passed through an LTA system with impulse response given by h of n equal to 1 comma a comma b with the origin being uh, n equal to 0 and the corresponding uh, amplitude of the impulse is 1 so if it if the output of the system is given to be 0 so we are asked to evaluate the values of a and b okay so if you look, let us solve this problem so if you look at the given x of n we can see that that can be written as c1 times minus j power n plus c2 times j power n why because exponential of e power minus j pi n by 2 is same as minus j power n and exponential of j pi n by 2 is same as j power n similarly we can write our impulse response of the system to be delta of n plus a times delta of n minus 1 plus b times delta of n minus 2 so clearly the output of the system is nothing but the convolution of x of n with h of n which is given here okay now if you substitute x of n and h of n in this equation we see that we get c1 times minus j power n plus c2 times j power n which is our x of n plus delta of n plus a times delta of n minus 1 plus b times delta of n minus 2 which is our h of n so this would be our uh, h of n this whole term in the bracket and this would be our x of n so if you look at this equation this is nothing but convolution of two signals so if you use the distributive property of Dirac delta uh, distributive property of the convolution operation we see that x of n is we see that x of n is convolved with delta of n which will give you our x of n which is this equation and similarly the second term is nothing but x of n convolved with a times delta of n minus 2 which is nothing but x of n minus 1 so this is our x of n minus 1 and finally we get x of n convolved with b times delta of n minus 2 which is nothing but b times x of n minus 2 so the first term would be our x of n and second term would be our x of n minus 1 and third term would be our x of n minus Okay, so if you take uh, uh, minus c1 times minus j power n as common, so so you will get in this term we'll get one as the uh, factor, and in the second term we will see a times j as the common factor. In third term we see that minus b as a common factor. Similarly, in the second term if you choose c2 times j power n as a common term then you get 1 minus j a times minus b okay so but it is given that our y of n equal to 0 for all n so this implies this term cannot be equal to 0 and similarly this term cannot be equal to 0 because nothing is given about c1 and c2 and minus j power n and j power n cannot be equal to 0 so this implies only possibility for y of n to be 0 is nothing but we want this term to be equal to 0 or this term to be equal to 0 so if you equate them to 0 we see that 1 plus j a minus b equal to 0 or we can say 1 minus j a minus b equal to 0 so but both these equations yield the values of a and b to be equal to 0 and 1. So hopefully you have understood this problem. Thank you.